Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Age of Civilizations 2. And in today's episode, we're going to try our damnedest to go to war with uh, with Ireland. So, we're going to pick up pretty much exactly where we left off. Um, the troop movements uh, looking okay there. Uh, we've got a couple of little couple of little bits and bobs moving around. Yep, cool. Let's go to the next turn. I'm not sure if this is going to take us directly to war with Ireland, but we want to go to war with Ireland anyway. They refused to accept our ultimatum, and as such, we have now declared war on Ireland. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What are we going to do? Well, first of all, we need to make sure that we maintain our defensive line. Uh, that is... That is a top priority. I don't think anyone has really become upset with me. Except maybe Puerto Rico. Although it seems that they've stopped improving relations with uh, with Ireland. That's fine. That's okay. Um, we're going to conquer Ireland. We're not going to do it in a rush. Because if you do anything in a rush in this game, then you will have problems. Um, I'm pretty certain that we've got more money than... Wait, hold on. Can I not attack into here? All right, well, that's kind of stupid. Uh, fine, we'll just move all of the 2,000 troops over there, and then we're going to move all of our... Hold on a minute. Wait, they refused to accept our ultimatum? Okay, now we can declare war on them. Fine, cool, let's declare war. Has that given us any negative modifiers with anyone? I just want to make sure that I'm not really upsetting people. I don't, I don't seem to be upsetting anyone. Cool, get rid of that. Fine. Let's go back to this. Let's go back to this war. Um, can I reassign these troops? No, I don't think I can. Okay, well, let's move in. Let's move in with all of our troops. We're going to go to battle. This is going to be the first engagement. The first engagement that we're, uh, that we're going to see. Uh, we're also going to try and raise a couple more troops, purely because I just want to make sure that we are totally, totally on top of things. Let's raise another 500. Let's, lay, uh, let's raise an even 500. There we go. That's pretty nice. Um, everything else is going great. Belgium, what do you think of me, Belgium? I want to make sure that I am actually upsetting you. You've got... Yep, diplomatic relations are suspended with the Netherlands. Man, that is crazy. I <laughs> what is going on? Uh, yeah, okay, so diplomatic relations are suspended with the Netherlands. Uh, we're still trying to get France on board. We are improving relations with you. Send a gift. How much can we send France? Only 100 and 140 gold. Does that have a big difference? I guess we'll see next turn, won't we? Um, cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, jump on over to the next turn. And let's see the combat in action. Excuse me? There we go. Scramble for Letterkenny. United Kingdom is victorious. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, we started off with 2,000 troops. He started off with that. That's how many we lost. That's how many he lost. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much the way that it is. It's not exactly a pure one-to-one. Uh, -one. It's not exactly a pure one-to-one -one ratio, but it is pretty much a numbers game in terms of, in terms of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, in terms of who can who can rally who can rally most more troops. Um, also, the way in which it works, it sort of deals with each of the attacks, like sequentially rather than at the same time. Um, so we defended that. That's pretty nice. You can see that we're still on turn eight, and we're just sort of flicking through the, flicking through the motions. Really nice. We were victorious, and now we're on to turn nine. Beautiful. All right. And with that, I think we're gonna move, we're gonna move up, move our whole army. We're also gonna raise, eight hundred troops. Insult from everyone. France accepted a gift. Does that make France like me anymore? don't hate me not really sure that that gift actually did much at all 
It is what it is, though. Fine. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're raising a bunch more troops, and we're going to move out. Um, I'm kind of worried that we're going to get attacked by this unit here. Um, as such, we should probably try and address that balance. Maybe 500 troops or so. Move across 500 troops. Purely because... You know, in fact, we'll move across 550, because I think that we get a... Um, a defensive bonus for being on this tile because we've got a watchtower here I mean it for some reason it's not showing up now but we definitely do have a watchtower fine okay cool let's go to the next turn I'm presuming he's gonna attack me yep that's okay we're already sending troops we're moving down there great and we're gonna move over there and he managed to win that's a real bummer so i don't understand what dictates the um i don't understand what dictates the movement but it doesn't particularly matter all things considered uh so let's get you guys down here and then let's get you guys i'd love to take the capital but i'm not gonna rush it Thankfully, thankfully, troops in troops in Letterkenny cannot move into Derry, which is slightly, which would be slightly bad if that was the case, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to dispatch a couple of troops over there. Maybe about 250. Yeah, something like that. And then I'm going to leave, leave a level thousand over here. Uh, we're going to address that next turn probably let's also go about recruiting about 800 troops we've got the money we might as well we might as well bully him uh because we've got the we've got the we, we've got the the con the economy to just continue to continue 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 hammering him okay good take it out nice oh come on really dude really Okay, this is a very silly attack. We did lose a bunch of troops, though, so a bit disappointing there. Fine. Okay. And with that, we're into the next turn. Beautiful. I've turned on auto-saving uh, between turns so that we can actually see the distinction between turns because from my, from my brief test playthrough of this, it was uh, annoyingly difficult to tell the difference. Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to move a whole bunch of troops into here. We're going to move about 1,200 into this unit, into this unit, into this area. 1,200 into that area. And then we're going to move the other 600 into Dublin, the capital. Um, we're going to move a whole bunch of troops into this area, actually. We're going to move every single troop that we have into this area. The reason that we're going to do that is because now, if he wants to attack me, he'll have to attack one of these three provinces. Letterkenny, Mullingar, or Dublin. Mullingar? Mullingar? I don't know. Anyway, that's the strategy. Because I know how annoying it can be. If they can get behind your back lines, then they can just absolutely destroy. Um, and it's it's not, it's not super thrilling. Um, do we want to see if we can perhaps get a building? That would be kind of nice. Uh, a supply camp, no armory, nope. Fortress, maybe. Um, hides the army from sight of view of the watchtower. I mean, I don't care about that. That doesn't matter to me. Um, how is Ukraine a great power? Fair enough, I guess, but not something that I was um, was expecting. Okay, let's 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 do this. Okay, we absolutely defended there. And we're going to dispatch all of our troops in that one direction. That's not really what I was intending to do, but that's fine. Let's move out there. Fine. Great. This is perfect. This is really, really perfect. Let's recruit a whole bunch more troops. We're going to need to recruit 1,500 now. We've, we've got two turns worth of money to go through. Um, we're going to move you out over this way. I am actually going to try and hold the line whilst we're waiting for reinforcements i don't feel comfortable attacking further because he could still have a lot of money like don't get me wrong he can still 
he can still defend quite strongly. Um, he can take out a bunch of loans and just train up a bunch more troops. Really, you know, training up your troops is literally just a... It's just a matter of how much money you've got. Okay, so move to here. Yep, let's do that. 1,600. Uh, let's recruit 800 more there. I think we're probably going to lose this. So I'll reinforce that by about 300. Reinforce that by about 300 as well. Okay. As I say, I think we're going to lose that because I think he's going to act on Dublin before we can get those reinforcements in there. I live in hope, though. Technology has been researched. We've got a technology point. Great. Let's put that into military upkeep. I guess that would be kind of nice. Um, anything, really. It doesn't particularly matter. Population growth. Income taxation. Sure, income tax. Let's put that, put that in there. Okay, let's see. Yep, so as I, as I suspected, he acted first. We're going to be able to defend. Then we're going to be able to attack. We're going to be able to take back Dublin. That's quite nice. It means that we're going to get 1,600 extra troops. Perfect. Move troops out there. Great. This is going very, very, very well indeed. Now, all of these places can suffer from revolutionary risk. Now, that's something that we've got to keep in mind. But I don't really understand how it affects anything, so I'm just going to ignore it and pretend that everything is fine. Uh, let's have a brief little look at diplomacy for a second here. France doesn't hate me. That's good. That's really good. Belgium hates me. That's also really good. Netherlands don't hate me either. That's also really good. As long as we can get Paris on board, I'm pretty happy with the way that I'm pretty happy with the way that things will probably pan out. I don't understand what this percentage figure is there for. Oh, it's the population that we control. Has anyone else gone to war with anyone else? I feel that this is kind of like lame. No one's got an alliance with anyone else at all, actually. Interesting. Diplomacy. It's not hugely interesting, I must say. Uh, province value. Dublin's pretty valuable. London is really valuable. Paris is pretty valuable. Brussels is pretty valuable. Oh, I'm going to get my juicy little hands on Brussels, that's for sure. Um, cores. Sure, this means something. I, don't, I literally don't know, and I, I don't really mind that much, to be honest. Um, supplies. What on earth is supply? Is that supply much like in Europa Universalis? Type of terrain? Sure, that also probably matters somehow. All of these are forests. All of all of the territory in our in our area is either forest or plains, except in the mountains. That's fine. Okay, um, let's stop mucking around and let's just get back to business. Okay, we're going to get attacked. We're going to defend. Good stuff. We've fully reinforced ourselves now. Happy days. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to come down. We're going to come down all of our troops. We're going to reinforce that by... I thought, you know what? No, we're not going to reinforce that province. We're going to attack straight into this province. About 350 troops. We're going to go on the offensive. If there is a if, if there is an, an Irish battalion there, then we might have a bit of a problem. But I don't think there will be. I think they're probably going to try and focus on getting their capital back. And that's exactly why we've loaded up the capital with a whole bunch of troops to make sure that he can't do anything about it. All right. Good. Taking it easily. There wasn't a unit there either. Perfect. Okay. This battle is pretty much going as well as we could possibly hope. This really, really is going very, very well. Okay, let's move you guys over to here. Let's move you guys in. Yep. Let's move you guys in over here. Beautiful. Okay, this is just going absolutely superbly. Province stability. Sure, that also means something, but it doesn't particularly matter. Anyway, let's move out and let's wipe Ireland off the map. 
Beautiful. Easy battles. Easy battles. There we go. I think I might have accidentally skipped a turn there, but that's fine. This is a game where, you know, you can certainly, uh, you can certainly skip a few turns and not have that much of an impact. Okay, you're literally just throwing the last dregs of your troops into me, aren't you? Yeah. You know what? He put up a good fight. And he still could, theoretically. Theoretically, he could still win. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. We have a 100% war score on Ireland. Now, negotiating the peace treaty. This is going to be... This is going to be interesting. So I want to take pretty much all of his provinces. Can I do that, though? I guess I, I have to sort of abide by the score. Yeah, I can take all of his provinces. Uh, release a vassal? No. I think that that should be fine. Um, I cannot do that because I do not have the... Whatever it is. Is this the prestige or just the, sco the score? I'm going to send the demands and hope that we get all of the territory. There we go. Beautiful. We have the whole territory. Now, province stability has plummeted. It's now minus... Is that minus 40... 40... Is that... I, I can't tell if that's minus 41% or minus 41,000%. <laughs> I mean, that's... It's a pretty big difference. Um, our population is a minority. Assimilate... We need to assimilate the provinces to increase stability. How do we assimilate provinces? So province stability in our original three units is at 100%. However, it's pretty much 1% everywhere else. So we could assimilate, and if we were to do that, it would only cost us... Oh my goodness, it's going to cost us nothing. What's the difference here? Wait, hold on a minute. That's, that is going to cost us a lot of money. It said it was only going to cost us 51. Can we just do it for one turn then? Um, really not sure what the difference is here. I guess it's just because... Alright, well, we'll see how this goes. There we go. Go through all of the different provinces. Hopefully this will make a difference. Okay, let's see if that actually has made a difference. Presumably it'll make a difference next turn. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Fingers crossed that that makes a difference. Anyway, um, we have defeated Ireland, which is great. I don't think that they have any other units uh, or any other territory even. Um, so mission accomplished really in terms of, in terms of what we've done. Let's go to the next turn and see if it's actually been effective. Uh, the process of assimilation has come to an end. We're now at 34%. So it's pretty much 30% across the board. Seemingly higher in... Hold on a minute. We're not 30% across the board. We're 10% across the board. And we're only 2% in these places. Hmm... That is a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a problem. What else can we do? Um, do we even really need to do anything? Not even sure that we really need to do anything. Let's just sort of let it rock and roll. Let's keep an eye on Letter Kenny um, to see what happens. I don't think the the chance of revolutionary risk is going to increase. It might, but we'll have to wait and see. Low stability in thirteen provinces. Yeah, I know, because they're all the ones that we just took over. Alright, get rid of that nonsense. 
All right, cool. What's our next objective? Our next objective is probably to try and take down the Isle of Man, truthfully. Um, I, I guess. I, I guess it's probably pretty easy to do. Guernsey and the Isle of Man, both both should be should be fairly easy pickings for us, truthfully. Uh, declare war on the Isle of Man. Let's perhaps not do that quite yet. Let's move you over to the coast right there. And then we'll declare war on the Isle of Man. Next turn. Yes, please. Where are you going? Where on earth are these troops going? Doesn't particularly matter, I guess. Uh, let's move these guys into the sea. Yep. Let's do that. We've got some tech points that we can stick into something. Uh, population growth, sure. We've got mega money, by the way, at the moment. That's quite nice. Okay, our troops are now in the sea. Let's just declare war then, right? Pretty sure that's what we need to do. Um, low stability. Yeah, I know there's a bunch of low stability provinces. Um, not really sure if it's going to make a difference if we do something more. Uh, the revolutionary risk is still, I mean, literally nothing. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, we could put down a library that would be pretty good. Plus one research for every 725 people in the province. Sure, we'll put a library in like London and all of these places where it's where it's fashionable to do so. We do not have enough technology points yet to build another level of workshop. However, we're going to. We're going to soon. Uh, a farm, movement points, required technology level, growth rate plus 5%. Sure, let's just stuff Dublin and uh, Dublin and London full with all of the technology improvements that we possibly can. Uh, military upkeep minus 20%. Sure, we'll have something on the, uh, on the island just to, you know, just to be a staging post, post, I guess. Um, okay, sure. Let's just declare war on the Isle of Man, as you do. Um, let's just move the troops to here. There we go. Let's just move all 1,300 of them. Uh, did we manage? I cannot tell. He might invade my territory, by the way. Maybe it takes more than one turn for uh, for boats to travel. I suspect that it might. Are we fighting in the sea? I don't know. We built a couple of buildings in Dublin. Great. Happy days. See, I don't understand. I do not understand in the slightest how this works. So Malta loves... Malta loves the Isle of Man. But that doesn't explain why I can't attack. Okay. Yes. Invade. Okay, now I can invade. I don't know why I couldn't before. Alright, let's do it. Yep, there we go. We got it. What a win. <laughs> that's, that's great. Okay, we've, we've somehow managed fairly easily. I would, um, I would say. Peace negotiations. Yep, I'm gonna just peace you out, I guess. <laughs> There's no reason not to. Yep, send demands. Sure. Uh, we did lose like a thousand troops though. I don't know what the size of force that they had on Douglas, but uh, that's quite something. Low stability provinces. Yeah, fine, whatever. I don't care. Doesn't really matter to me. Um, Are we still in France's good books? No, he doesn't like me anymore. I don't like that. I don't like that. Why do you not like me? Belgium doesn't like me. N the Netherlands do like me. We're already improving relations with them, I do believe, so that's fine. All right. Also, something that you that you can actually note is we can bump up the the time that's passed. So I'll bump that up to five and see how 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 far that takes us on. 
don't know. Apparently, apparently it doesn't speed up the speed at which the game goes. Apparently, it's just the speed of movement, I guess. Um, okay. We are increasing our population. I guess that is the way in which you sort of pacify rebellion, is you just increase increase your own population, your native population. I feel that's a pretty a pretty poor mechanic, all things considered, but it is what it is. Um, Castile, sorry, uh, Spain, 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 Spain. Is there a chance that we go to war with you? I just want to go to war with everyone, honestly. Also, I would like to point out that we are making absolute bank right now. Um, can we get away with charging a little bit more in taxes? Potentially. Um, we could, whilst we're not really doing anything, we could stick a whole bunch more into growth. Growth would be pretty good. Um, population growth, that would be very, very nice to do indeed. Uh, let's put a bunch more into gro into goods, yeah, and, and, into, and into growth in general. I feel that that might be a little, like, short-term ambition that we have, try and grow the population a little bit. Because, you know, more population, more money. Really? That's, uh, that's something that people say. Move to London. Let's get you to London. Let's get you guys to Dublin. And let's get these troops over to, like, here. Plymouth. And then we will attack, attack St. Saint, Saint Hellier. Um, twenty-six percent of the population is already uh, from the UK anyway, so we should have no difficulty uh, attacking them and, and getting in there. Turns out that everyone in the Isle of Man, by the way, a hundred percent of of residents in the Isle of Man are all from the Isle of Man. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, let's now move these troops into the ocean, which apparently we can't do. Move to here. Ah, do they need to go via a port? Is that the way that it works? I guess they need to go via a port. That's kind of fair enough, I guess. Okay, looking good. Low stability. Yep, Nigeria and Japan both improving relations with us. It's quite nice. Let's get you out into the sea. And when you're over here, we will declare war. After we allocate our point, let's put it into population growth, sure. We're really gunning for population growth at the moment, aren't we? Um, we, sh we can actually keep track of our population. Uh, is there any way that we can have a little look at our population? Uh, it was interesting, something there. Look, you can see that our population is now made up of Irish people and of uh, British people. So you can see here, this is our population graph. Wow, look at India's population in comparison to ours. Pretty large, actually. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, I need to stop mucking around and actually just get back to business. Okay. We need to attack you. Yes, please. Declare war. Beautiful. Move. Move in. Yep, let's do it. I don't think he's going to be able to defeat the force. He is going to be able to defeat the force. That's kind of a little bit annoying, in fact. Um, we're going to raise a whole bunch of troops before we somehow end up losing. Uh, I do not want to lose. Non-aggression pact with France has expired. Um, sign another one. 40 turns. Man, we are chewing through the turns in this episode. Uh, let's recruit 5,000 units or something. It's about half of the potential uh, units that we that we could have bought. Go to the next turn, and then move to here. There we go. So that's just going to sort of sort itself, which is quite nice. We've still got low stability provinces, but I again I don't think it's actually made that much of a difference. Uh, Douglas, yeah, I mean happiness is pretty good, all things considered. Um, stability is pretty low. Maybe we could try and assimilate, assimilate here. Organize a festival. No, assimilate, it's not quite like a festival, honestly. 
We're going to do that for 50 turns or whatever. It's quite a lot of money. Okay. And let's invade. Beautiful. 5,000 troops. You literally cannot do anything about that. Um, and honestly, with that, we're just going to peace you out. Peace negotiations. Yep, I'll take the whole darn place. Thank you very much. Send demands. Sure. And it's actually good because a, uh, a quarter of the population already was from the UK. Now, a quarter was from France. And the fact that we are technically invading territory very, very near France might upset him slightly. However, I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't particularly matter. Can we support rebels in France? No. Can we support rebels in Belgium? No. Apparently we can't. Why has Belgium now got a positive opinion of me? That's not something that I wanted. Um, proclaim the independence of the Netherlands? Sure. Is no one else at war, by the way? I feel that this is kind of lame if I'm the only person that's uh, that's gone to war so far. I feel like other people should definitely be piling in here and trying to trying to fix things up. Speaking of piling on in here... Germany, you've got... Okay, so Italy and France are your enemies. Interesting. Interesting. If I was to... If I was to try and see if you would like to... Uh, how do I do it again? How do I do it? Trade request. Here we go. Uh, if I was to say, form a coalition against France... Likelihood of success, medium. I'm just to give you 30,000 gold for it. Would that work? I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't. I wonder what state relations need to be in before uh, France goes to war with Germany. If that happens, though, then we are going to be... We are going to be in with a chance of getting our revenge on Belgium. Honestly, this is going to be great. I've already decided exactly how we're going to do this, by the way. Um, we're going to stage our troops in Amsterdam. Well, specifically, uh, Breda and Eindhoven. And then we're just going to come down and just wash Belgium away. Honestly, it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Um, but that's something that we're going to have to tackle in the next episode. Because that's it for now, ladies and gents. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obdur Potato. This has been Age of Civilizations 2. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.